All right, so just like the last time we did this and the other games, the rules of this challenge are very simple. I have to read a book out loud without stopping. Last time it was The Silver Eyes, this time it is going to be The Twisted Ones. I have to read out loud without stopping. If I stop for up to five seconds, I lose. The only times that I can stop reading is in between the nights and in the minigames. During the nights themselves, I have to keep reading, which means I can barely look at the screen. Now, night one isn't going to be too bad because there's nothing going on, but we're just going to see how far I can get before I die. Let's go. Chapter one, don't trust your eyes. And my dog is barking. <laughs> Dr. Treadwell walked back and forth across the platform in front of the auditorium. Her steps were slow and even, almost hypnotic. Your eyes deceive you every day, filling the blanks for you in a world of sensory overload. An image of a dizzying geometric detail lit up the canvas screen behind her. When I say sensory overload, I mean that quite literally. At every moment, your senses are receiving far more information than they can process all at once. And your mind is forced to choose which signals to pay attention to. It does that based on your experiences and your expectation of what is normal. The things... Man, he is really barking. I'm sorry about that. The things we are familiar with are things we can, for the most part, ignore. We see this part easily with the olfactory fatigue when your nose ceases to perceive a smell when you when you would have been around it for a while. You may be quite thankful for this phenomenon depending on the habits of your roommate. <laughs> the class tittered dutifully and became quiet as an image of another multicolored design flashed across the screen. The professor gave a hint of a smile before continuing. Your, your mind creates... Before, your mind creates motion when there is none. It fills in colors and trajectories based on what you've seen before, and it calculates what you should see, be seeing now. Another image flashed into the overhead. If your mind didn't do this, then simply walking outside and fiddling a tree would consume all your mental energy, leaving no resources to do anything else. In order for you to function in the world, your mind fills in the spaces of that tree with its own leaves and branches. A hundred pencils scribbled all at once, filling the lecture hall with the sound like scurrying mice. It's why when you enter a house for the first time, you experience a moment of dizziness. Your mind is taking in more than usual. It's drawing a four plan, creating a palette of co colors, and saving an inventory of images to draw from later. So you don't have to go through the exhausting intake every single time. The next time you enter the same house, you'll already know where you are. Charlie! An urgent voice whispered her name inches from her ear. Charlie kept writing. She was staring straight ahead at the display in front of the lecture hall. As Dr. Treadwell went on, she paced faster, occasionally flinging an arm toward the screen to illustrate Hi. her point. Her words seemed to be falling behind as her mind raced on ahead. Charlie realized by the second day of class that her professor sometimes broke off in the middle of one sentence, only to finish an entirely different one. Charlie had realized the second day of class her professor was an entirely different one. It was like she had skimmed the text in her head, reading out a few words here and there. Most of the students in her robotics class found it maddening, but Charlie liked it. It made the lesson kind of like doing a puzzle, just like this challenge. The screen flashed again, displaying an assortment of mechanical parts in a diagram of an eye. This is what you must recreate. Dr. Treadwell stepped back from the image. Step back from the image, trying to click the class. Basic artificial intelligence is all about sensory control. You won't be dealing with, uh, with a mind that can filter these things out for itself. You must design programs that recognize basic shapes while discarding unimportant information. You must do it for your robot. You must do for your robot what your own mind does for you. Create a simplified and organized assembly of information based on what is relevant. Let's start by looking at some examples of, base, uh, of basic recognition. Charlie, this little voice again, and she waved her pencil impatiently at the figure over her shoulder. Okay, between the nights I can stop. Yeah! 
And I was trying to get a feel for that, ironically, kind of what the professor was talking about there. I was trying to get a feel for where... Trying to click on the things without having to look at the screen. Oh gosh, I can only imagine what doing this in FNAF 4 would be like. I, I don't think you could do this in FNAF 4 and... Uh, and hope. Hope for anything. thing is, so I was trying there, I was trying to get a, uh, basically a feeling of clicking on the buttons without looking at the screen, and I was not doing it very well, so that was unfortunate. Run away! So this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck a whole lot. Paper in front of her was cut formulas, notes in the margins, sketches, diagrams. She wanted to get everything all down at once. Hello? Not just the math, but all the things. Uh, not just the math, but uh, all the things as she already Hello? knew. She'd retain it more easily. She felt... Uh, she'd retain it more easily. She felt hungry for it, alert, watching. Uh, watching, uh, for new tidbits of information like a dog under the dinner table. A boy near the front of the table raised his hand to ask the question, and Charlie felt a brief flare of impatience. Now the whole class would have to stop for a while. Hi. Treadwell went, up, went back to explain, uh, uh, while well, Treadwell went back to explain something, so Charlie let her mind wander, sketching absently in the margins of her notebook. John would uh, would be here in. She glanced for it restlessly at her watch. An hour. Shit. An hour. Uh, Charlie let her mind uh, here in an hour. I told him maybe, um, I told him maybe someday we'll see. Hello? I told her, uh, I told her that maybe someday, um, Oh man, this makes me look at the screen so much more. I told her, maybe someday we'll see each other again. Um, he had called out. Hello? Oh shit! Okay. Uh, he had called out. Uh, out of the blue. I'm going to be passing through. I'm going to be passing, uh, I'm going to be passing through, he said, and Charlie didn't bother asking how you knew where she was. Of course he would know. There was no reason not to meet him. Uh, she had found herself all alternately excited and filled with dread. <laughs> alternately excited and filled with dread. Um, now, as she absently sketched the rectangular forms along the bottom of her notebook paper, her stomach jumped. A little spasm of nerves. It felt like a lifetime since she last saw him. Sometimes it felt like she'd seen him yesterday. Uh, it felt like she'd seen him yesterday. As Hi. if... Uh, the last year hadn't passed. But of course it had, and everything had changed for Charlie once again. Uh, the May... Uh, that May, the night of her 18th birthday, <laughs> the night of her 18th birthday, okay, it's fine, the night of her 18th birthday, the dreams had begun. Hi. The dreams, I know, the dreams had begun. Uh, the dreams had begun. Charlie was long accustomed to nightmares. The worst moments of her past forced up like blue into twisted version of memories already too terrible to recall. Uh, she had shoved those dreams to the back of her mind in the morning. Fuck me, he's in the vents. I have no idea which vents. Um... I don't know where he is. Well, I already lost. That was five seconds. Wow, that sucked! That sucked so much! This is awful! Are you kidding me? I can't even beat night two with this. Okay, so this is so much... <sighs> oh, I did say it was the hardest FNAF challenge ever. Yeah. Kill me, Springtrap, because I'm already dead. You got through the vent, and I don't know where you are, so... Alright, well... I might... I'm... My ego has taken a massive hit. I already... I'm dead. Here we go. No. Now my dog's in here. When's he, when's he gonna show up? I'm gonna make him come to me. So, I'm normally very good at FNAF 3, but... 
Well, he's close. I'm normally very good at FNAF 3. Um, but the thing that makes this game different than the other challenge versions of doing this challenge is I have to look at the screen so much more in this game in particular than you have to in the others. Because in the other game, like in FNAF 1, I know it so well that I was able to get to night 3, but I also, like, the audio is telling me where they are and stuff. In FNAF 2, I mostly, because I've played that game so much, I could just do it on reflex, like putting the mask down without even looking at the screen. Like, yeah, sure. Um, I could do it on just instinct. I could put the mask down without even looking at the screen, and I did do that. The only thing I really had to look at was the music box. Are you ever gonna... Come on, dude. My, my, I've been dying for like three hours now. With this game, though, and something I didn't really think about... Was the fact I... I'm already dead. Don't let me live, because I'm already dead. I already lost. Um, because I quit reading. The reason I quit reading is I didn't take this into consideration. You have to look at the screen so much more than you do in the other games, because the cameras are so much more important in this game in particular. So... It... it this is actually probably one of the hardest games to actually do that in. I feel like I've robbed you of good content as well. <laughs> I do. I was hoping I could at least get to, like, night two or three. I tell you what, if I live, I will go back to reading on night three, but I technically already lost. Oh my. Yeah! Okay, I will go back to reading. I will, I promise. On night three, and we'll just see what happens. But I've technically already lost, so. I, think, uh, I sat there for like four hours. How did he not kill me? And my dog is still barking. He's running in here, and I'm afraid he's gonna come in here and bark. Okay. Okay, so note to self, what have I learned? Um, I have to look at the screen a whole lot more, which means I'm really gonna have to... Alright. Okay, I technically lost, but let's just see if I can do any better, okay? Alright. These dreams were different. When she woke, she was physically exhausted. Not just drained, but sore. Her muscles weak. Her hands were stiff and aching like they'd been clenched for hours. Like she, like they'd been clenched for hours. Um, uh, these new dreams didn't come every night, and when they did, they interrupted regular nightmares and took over. Hi. They interrupted her regular nightmares and took over. Um, it didn't matter if she was running or screaming for her life or once aiming through the dull diminished place. She started suddenly from nowhere. Uh, she would sense him. Sammy, her lost twin brother, was near. Uh, she knew he was present the same way she knew that she was present. Uh, the same way he knew she was present. Hello? Uh, he was present. Uh, the same way that she was present. Oh, shit. The same way that she was present. Oh, damn it. You see what I mean? I already fucking did it again. The actual shit? Where is- there he is. You know what I mean? I've already done it again. It's that hard. It's that hard. Oh my god! Holy shit. Chica is actually fucking terrifying. What the hell? Here we go. Okay, so... This is so much harder. I did not expect that. This is so much harder. Trying to read and this... He's in here barking. Get out. Get out. Um, oh my gosh. That actually really did surprise me. I was not expecting this game to be so much harder. Harder trying to read constantly. Oh, I know where you are. Okay, you're fine. Hello? Okay, so I'm already dead. That's fine. Or, I've already lost. That's fine. I'll, 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 just, I'll keep reading. She knew he was present in the same Hello? way um, that he knew she was present. Uh, and whatever the dream was, um, and whatever the dream, uh, dream was, it dropped away. <laughs> oh, no, he came back here. And whatever the dream was, it dropped away. Um. That's fine. Whatever. Oh my gosh, this is actually so much harder. What is this? 
I thought FNAF 2 would be the hardest. Why is this one worse? I'm going to have to retry this one, I think. I was not prepared for just how ridiculously hard this ended up being. Okay, I'm just going to try to keep him on camera 3. Hey, my guy. Fuck me. Hey. What's up, bud? Okay, so clearly, um, I've already very much lost trying to read without dying, because holy crap, that went horribly wrong so quickly, but literally, I could do the clickbait gone wrong in my video here, and it would actually be true, because I le it legit went wrong in every way it could have. Okay, he's gonna be... I know where he is. Okay, so, uh, here. Hello? Hello? Whatever. Again, if I survive the night, I'll go back to just reading just to make it interesting, but at this point, I've already lost. I've lost. I lost Hi. on night two. I'm just. Okay, whatever. Keep, you guys really liked the FNAF 2 one, so. So, might as well keep providing the sweet content <laughs> that you enjoy. Back. Because the FNAF 2 video did really well. I was kind of surprised. This video is just a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> the FNAF 2 video, great stuff. Everyone seemed to really like it. This one is just going to be a waste of everyone's time because I've lost this. He saw a cat. I guarantee he saw the neighbor's cat. I guarantee you saw the neighbor's cat. You saw the neighbor's cat. Come here. You saw the neighbor's cat and it just sets him off. Yeah, it does. That's Tank, everyone. That is Tank. Hello. Hmm, squeaking behind me. With a name like Tank, you probably expect a giant Rottweiler. Nope, he's a tiny little sheepoo. I think I have been five close, so I should be okay. I can't. I am literally <laughs> half assing this. How am I doing so good? Well,. If I was playing FNAF 3 normally, I'm literally just half-assing this because I've already lost the challenge. Hello. But again, I promise you, I will keep reading on uh, night um, four if I do get there, just to see how how it goes. Which oh my gosh, this is. <sighs> I don't feel right. I feel like I don't feel right. I tried so hard to let him kill me on night two, yeah! and he just wouldn't do it for like four hours. All right, well, we'll keep going. We will keep reading. Imagine if this is when I beat the after three without dying. <laughs> that would be the biggest insult. <laughs> the one time I'm not trying to do it. I'm gonna die on night four. I'm definitely gonna die on night four. Okay, this time, no matter what, I actually will just read. I don't even care. I'm just gonna read until I actually die. The thing is, though, I keep losing my place and stopping, so... Alright. You wanna see how this challenge should be played? Go watch my video of me doing this in FNAF 2. You'll enjoy yourself. Alright, he's already here. Uh, she knew uh, he was present in the same way that uh, he knew that she was present. And my dog is back again. I know that you're present as well. Um, uh, he never answered. She would drop to her hands and knees, feeling uh, her way through the dark, letting his presence... Hello? Uh, letting uh, his presence guide her until she came to a barrier. It was smooth, cold, and metal. Hi. Hi. It was smooth, cold, and 
and uh, metal. She would drop to her hands and uh, smooth cold metal. She, she couldn't see it, but she hit hard with one her fist and echoed, Sammy, she would call. Uh, she would hit harder, um, hitting harder. She stood, reaching up to see if. Ugh. Um, she stood, reaching up to see if. Where actually is he? Oh, fuck. Um, she reached. Um, jeez. I keep losing, and I keep feeling Hi. bad for still trying. Um, she stood, reaching up to see if she could scale back. Um, if she could scale back, uh, scale the slick surface, but it stretched up far above her. Uh, she beat her fists against the barricade. Uh, against the barricade until they hurt. She screamed her brother's name until her throat was raw, until she fell fell to the floor and leaned on the solid metal, pressing her cheek to the cool surface and hoping for a whisper from the other side. He was there. She knew it as surely, as surely as if he was part of herself. She knew in those dreams that he would be present. Worse, when she was awake, uh, and she knew he was not there. Uh, in August, Charlie and Aunt Jane had their first fight. They'd uh, always been uh, too distant to really argue. Why are you not moving? Uh, Charlie never really... Okay. Hello? Shit. It's not good. I'm not good. I'm not okay. Um, to really fight. Uh, they'd been too close uh, to ever really fight. I, I know. By now, Charlie was old enough to understand that Jin uh, had meant as a gesture of respect. I think I skipped the part, but that's fine. Uh, a way to reassure Charlie that her father wouldn't be forgotten. He's on camp five. Hurry up. Hurry up. He's gotta be. He's gotta be on camp five. It's fine. Fuck you. Where are you? I think he's gonna be here. Uh, had been a way to reassure... Hello. Hello. Gotcha. Okay. It had been a way to, um... It had been a, uh, blah. Um... Don't expect parenting, don't expect love. And so Charlie had Jen had never failed to take care of Charlie. Uh, never failed to take Hello. care of... Hey. You're a real asshole, you know that, Springtrap? You are Hi. the asshole of Five Nights at Freddy's of all time. Please end this horrible video. Thank you. That sucks. And I feel like I let you all down because I died, or I lost so early. And then I just kept it going. It was like a train wreck that wouldn't stop. It just kept getting worse. But seriously, I did not... I feel like I have cheated you all of the entertainment you deserve because in the FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 one of these, I was scrambling, desperately trying to keep rooting while the animatronics were bearing down on me and then I got the crap scared out of me. But here, I think I've just lost my place. And then I couldn't find it again. And, hmm, I feel so just wrong. <laughs> but I will add, I was not expecting this to be that much harder, but it really was because I, in FNAF 3, you have to look at the screen. You have to. So maybe if I re-attempt it, what I can do is like hold my phone like this. Yeah. Sure, okay. Okay, if I re-attempt it, that's what I'll do. I'll hold my phone up to here so I can at least see both at the same time. That'll probably be easier. I was trying to repeat what I did in 2 and I just set it down right here because that worked in 2. That doesn't work for this game, so... Cool. Alright, I will re-attempt it in this game probably next week, so... Until then, have a good one, everyone. I hope you somehow found some enjoyment out of this video, and I will see you in the next one.